All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, everybody. Uh, nobody bought those roots last time. <laughs> so you you could say their popularity is, well, it's not really, it's not existent. Um, nobody bought them. I wonder if we should just commit to like putting those in the ma in the magic mirror. Or can we not do that from here? Do we, do we only get to do that? Yeah, we only get to do that when we're actually in the place. So let, let's 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 not give up on them. Uh, let's try to sell them. What, what were they at? Like, uh, oh gosh, what were they at? They were at a little bit more valuable than teeth stone. Let's, let's put them at like 10. Uh, yeah, okay. That works for me. Um, and then, let's sell some of this other shiz. So this empowering crystal. Uh, it's got a little star next to it. Uh, let's, let's put them at 100. And just see what Just see what happens. Let's learn. And then these were at that, and that was too cheap. Uh, yeah, so up in here, okay. So they're willing to pay more than 100, obviously. And uh, let's see, gold runes. Yeah, that was a steal at 200. Let's do 400, and let's just see what happens. Um, and I think that's it. All right, let's open up. Hello, welcome. Welcome, what's up? How's it going? How's it going, you beautiful bitch? Liked it? Oh, it's too expensive, but he'll still pay for it. Uh, yeah, that's prohibitively expensive. Apparently... $10 is prohibitively expensive for roots. Uh, which makes sense. Um, all right, so we're getting, we're getting close with those gold runes. Let's see what else we can put up for sale. Let's see, let's just see. And we have, we have a price for teeth stone and that price is fair. Golem core, I think that price was, yeah, we, we sold, uh, we could have gotten more. Let's put these, uh, let's put these at a hundred. Broken sword. I think also that one was, yeah, they, they were not that happy with it. So let's, let's put you at like 160 and then, okay, that's, and then that's all we have. And we might want to, if nobody's interested in the root, which, uh, it's a root after all. I might just sell it. Okay. So this old lady is going to buy a broken sword. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, golem core. Alright, cool. So those guys, while those guys are, are happily bringing their purchases to the counter, we are going to put these here. And what are we going to sell them for? Somewhere between 120 and 70. Let's... Let's do 120 and see how they how they react. Actually, no, let's just do an even 100. Um, and let's put you down there. I think that's a yeah, that's a fair price. And crystallized energy. It's also a fair price, but you're kind of popular. Let's see if we can maximize. Uh, let's see if we can maximize the money there a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm happy. Cool, cool. And how are you doing, lady? How are you doing, you uh, April O'Neil situation? Glass? So she was happy with that. Now, I wonder if each... Oh, yeah, he's he's bummed about that. Okay, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Um, yeah, 140 is too much. Maybe we were exactly where we needed to be. 
Okay. Is popular... Th that is probably going to be the next thing that I'm going to have to learn about. Is popular the, like... Um, what I'm really... What I'm really glad about is that you can just adjust prices on the fly. Because I... If you had to, like... I don't know. Uh, if you had to wait a whole day, like, set the prices... And then adjust accordingly... It would get real annoying. Um, foundry rests are somewhere in between. So why don't we put you at like 130? Does that seem fair? Yeah, 130 is somewhere between 120 and 160. Okay. All right, that was that was such a help to get that tip that like it's sort of ranked in order. And like the most expensive thing in that in that dungeon is going to be three grand. Um, okay. And I'll sell that. And nobody is caring. This one root, nobody gives a crap. So why don't we just, why don't we just close up shop? All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, it didn't, it didn't actually close. Yeah. Mucho appreciado. Per okay. Necesito... Um, Serrar Mis. Uh, oh gosh. What shop? I don't remember. Um. Now, is this the move to be like, put those in here? And is that different space. Okay, so I have two big chests back here. Hmm. Okay, excuse me. So, now what we could do is we could sleep. We're not going to. We're going to go back out. Oh, I didn't end. And then we do have the choice of like... Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Le retailer. Uh, yep. Le retailer. Tired of looking for items in the dungeons? Leave that job to others and come to Le, Le retailer where you'll find the finest items in Rhinoka. Le retailer. Because life's complicated enough. Do you have a guess for what I'm gonna. for what kind of voice I'm gonna give that guy? Um. And we already have hired, so we can't exactly up. Yeah, that makes sense. You wouldn't be able to like upgrade. Um, but we do want to keep um keep an eye out for the ability to upgrade our shiz. You know what I mean? So similar to last time, why don't we put? Why don't we start with like a fabric bandana? Like I'll put this on the wish list. Put that on the wish list. Um, and a fabric chest plate, and just like very, just very. Let's put that on the wish list, okay? So that then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's start saving some money. Let's make that our. Let's make that our sort of short-term goal, huh? What do you think of that? Hello. Just my little head. Let's just take a minute. This game is cute. Oh, and the white-haired protagonist. A lot of great games have a white-haired protagonist. If you think about it, Bastion, it's a great game. Um, Pokemon, um, which ones were those? Those were Ruby and Sapphire, the, the generation, whatever that was, on Game Boy Advance. Fantastic. Um, oh, no, no, no. Don't exit the dungeon. So there is a boss here. Is that what that's telling me? That, that thing at the top? Like you have to go four floors down and then you'll reach a, some sort of a boss creature? Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. 
combat. Oh, I rolled off the edge. I wondered what would happen if, if that happened. Okay. We'll sell all of that. Later. And then these guys will take those items away. Okay, be careful to not get too close. Because... Okay. Alright. Okay. There's a chest. Item must be placed at the bottom of the bag. So again, this goes to that, like... Inventory... <laughs> That's really... I love that. That's such an interesting, like, mini-game. Must be placed at the bottom of the bag. Okay. I think that probably is good enough placement, right? No, don't carry me to the edge! Oh my god. You held me for a long time. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Is that the goal of that one? To like... No, no, no. I don't know how... I don't really know how to deal with that. On an emotional level, I don't know how to deal with that. Oh, and I don't have any heals. What we should maybe do is next time we're in town, we should figure out how to make, um, how to get Eris to make us some healing potions. Yeah, now. Hello. Why, why don't we? Okay, so this is the same uh, as last episode. Oh, you heal, okay. That's why I couldn't really tell what it did last time. Hello. Okay. And I don't, my weapon doesn't, isn't going to break through any of that stuff. What was that that I just got? It seemed like a nice, shiny... Got some rods there. Um, let's see. Wish list. Okay, so here's where we can check on, like, how how is that going? Okay. Okay. So right now we've got whatever that stuff in the middle is for the fabric for the fabric armor. Oh, and there's calendars. Wonder what that does. Does that actually like track? There, okay. Well, let's let's not worry about that now. Um and the way that all that rock is is uh, situated is telling me that there's like there's probably going to be some rock farming that we're going to do. Get out of there. So when that guy takes you, I think you just wiggle, just wiggle your stick, you know. Just wiggle your just classic, you know. And is this an ever okay? So get ready to see a lot of this room, because I am terrible. <laughs> get ready to see a lot of that room. Um, yeah. All right. So there's a delicate balance. Uh, and that this is sort of signifying to me that we're going to go down. Okay, got it. So there's there's a definite balance to um, what you keep for yourself, and then what you s end up selling. Oh 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 no! Did I glitch the game out? Okay. <laughs> so you can also just ma it looks like you just mash the roll button. Nope. 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 Oh boy. Get out of here, dude. This guy is like, I, I just don't know how to quite deal with him just yet. Every time he traps me, I mean, and I don't even take damage, so I've got to figure out some way of dealing with that boy. With that blobula. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I did not want to take damage from that guy. Okay. Uh... Mm, and we're out of here. Oh, did, am I about to die? Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> Not too bad. 
Not too bad. Okay. Um, I just really thought we were going to die when that guy hit us. And we only had like 3 HP left. Um... Okay, so y'all don't really say anything new. But that's fine. Um, what do I... Do I have what I need for... No, I have one of them. But I don't have... Okay. Um, but I do want to find out... How to get some of these... Uh, How come there's two different ones? Oh, you could just... I see. So you could just pay gold. Or it's cheaper if you have the materials. Yeah, I mean, I think... I think that's probably fair. Because... That, that slime stuff is not worth very much in the shop anyway, so... Why don't we just buy a bunch of these? That's kind of cool. So you have the choice, like... But it's at this stage, especially. She looks so angry that we're like keeping her from her book. And her cat's tail is holding a potion. Oh, you gotta get right out of here. You gotta get right out of here. Uh, that's the cutest. Um, and then let's go talk to Andre. Hey, looking to craft some better gear. So we're almost there for the bandana we're almost there for the we're not really close for that of the chest plate so what happens if we just go back and like go back and make some progress in the dungeon and not sell stuff um oh so when it starts it's indicating to us so that doesn't mean that it's particularly special it just means that it's indicating to us, hey, this is something that's on your wish list. Or, or rather, it's a crafting item for an item that's on your wish list. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, I don't want to use this. Uh, I would rather have that for just for... Um, just for my brain. I want to put that there. Um... Okay, well then let's sell everything that is not in our wish list. Huh? Iron bars are not in our wish list? Or do, they're not crafting items for things in our wish list? Oh, I guess right now we're just looking for that. But yeah, we'll, we'll probably want to keep those, I would think. No? For, uh, for for weapons, like better weapons down the down the line. Hmm. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Rusty short sword. Oh, I see. So it'll like you start from there and then move on to bigger things. Spear. I want to put a spear on our wish list, huh? Why not? I feel like that'll be better for, like, dealing with farther away things. Okay, so now we have some goals here. We have... Yeah, and we'll need some iron bars for that. So why don't we just go ahead and sell you and some roots. Let's try to sell you again. Uh, we're not going to worry about selling health potions, but we're going to go ahead and sell some broken swords. And yeah, we're open for business. All right, let's do this. Hello, welcome. Welcome back to Will's the pl Will's place. Yeah. I'm starting to get the flow. So you sell what you don't want to craft or like you don't need. 
You make some money, you make some sh uh, shackles. And then you kind of bank what you do want to keep. And then you go, once all this stuff is gone, then you go back out. Then you don't necessarily have to wait until the nighttime to fight. And supposedly it's harder in the nighttime anyway. So yeah, so we're, I think we're out of stuff that isn't on our, okay. So we're closed. And then here's what I'm going to do. I am actually going to put, I'm going to go put these items back here. Oh, uh, 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 not move all, but no, oh, what am I doing? Move that. Okay. So right bumpers, move the one thing. Okay. That makes sense, right? So craftables go in the top chest. Uh, okay. All right, let's do this. Let's go back in there. Um, but actually, we're going to go ahead and call it before the next episode because it's been going long enough. I think we're finally, we're finally kind of figuring out the flow of Moonlighter, which makes me really excited. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying these episodes of Moonlighter. It's a fascinating game. Really uh, interesting layers of like the combat, you know, the regular dungeon crawler mixed with the strategy of, you know, a shopkeep. Uh, but it's not too complicated in either direction. So it feels kind of balanced and, and very unique. And it's cute. And the music is fucking gorgeous. So, uh... Until then, have a, just a wonderful time and a day. I love ya. All right. Are you eating good? Don't eat bad. Are you drinking enough water? You're probably not drinking enough water. Go have a glass of water right now. And call me in the morning. All right. <laughs>